There are two concepts that I want to use as a foundation before we move on to learn something new. The first is the idea of counting something by weighing. When you go to the hardware store and buy a whole bunch of nails, the person at the cash register does not simply just count them out one at a time and then charge you for all of them. They weigh the nails and they know how many nails are in a pound or in a kilogram, depending on what country you're in, and charge you accordingly. You'll see that the same thing is true in chemistry. Chemists don't count individual particles or individual molecules. They measure the mass or the weight of a sample, and they know how many particles or molecules will be in that mass. The other concept I want to talk about is that of a dozen. A dozen is simply a word that refers to a number. When we say we have a dozen of something, we know that that means 12 things. So if you have two dozen of that things, that means you have two times a dozen, or 24 things. And it's possible to have half of a dozen of something, or six things. If you have a dozen of something, you know how many parts there are of that thing. So if you have a dozen cars, you know that each car has a windshield, so you also have a dozen windshields. If you have a dozen cars, you also know that each car has four tires, so that means you have 48 tires. Now with those two concepts behind us, let's get to the topic of the day. I want to talk about moles, not the furry creatures, not the things that grow in your face. I want to talk about a word that means a number, but not a dozen. The number I'm talking about is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. It's a huge number. You would never talk about this number unless you were talking about things that were really, really small. You would never talk about 6.022 times 10 to the 23 donuts, for example. That would be about the size of Jupiter. You would only talk about things that were on the scale of atoms or molecules. We call this number Avogadro's number, and this is a great opportunity to introduce you to Amadeo Avogadro. Not only a great name, but a fantastic portrait. If you have Avogadro's number of something, you are said to have a mole of those things. If you have Avogadro's number of atoms, you would have a mole of atoms. So when we say we have a mole of something, we are using a word that represents a number. The number in this case is Avogadro's number.